what's up guys? Here we are, the moment of truth. I brought the car back in for another dyno test to see what the actual objective impact of the three-stage intake manifold and the AA headers installation was. So uh, last time it was right at around 200 wheel horsepower. So uh, let's put it on the dyno and see what the impact is. I'm a little bit nervous uh, and I hope that, uh, you know, there was objective impact that I feel behind the uh, driver's seat. Thanks guys. What's up guys, welcome to Gogo Motor YouTube channel. So we just finished doing the dyno test of my 2007 BMW 328i following the installation of the three-stage intake manifold and the AA headers to determine what the effect was of doing that mod. Um, as you may recall, um, I dyno tested this exact same car the exact, on the exact same dyno machine before I did the mod and what I got was 199.9 horsepower at the wheels and 188.2 pound-foot of torque at the wheels. Now, you know, typically to arrive at the crank horsepower, which is what the manufacturers advertise, you need to um, uh, increase those wheel horsepower to account for the drivetrain loss from the engine to the wheels. So typically you do that 15 to 20% increase. Um, they told me here to apply a 17% increase to this basically 200 horsepower at the wheel that was in the stock form, and that would have resulted in the car having 234 horsepower at the crank about four more than advertised as i mentioned in my previous video as well the dyno machine where i've tested this car on uh, is conservative so in comparison to a dyno jet machine which is the one that, that is uh, most often used uh, it usually shows figures that are about 20 percent less than what is advertised um you know on a, than what you would get on a dyno jet so you know to get at the dyno jet numbers you need to apply an additional 20 percent if we did that to the 234 
horsepower stock where we were at i mean we were already at you know producing um uh, stock three 330 horsepower about 269 horsepower so that's the background now we like i said we've installed installed a three-stage intake manifold the aa headers did the tune and happy to report that that has resulted in a 30 horsepower or about a 30 horsepower increase at the wheels so it went from 199.9 horsepower to 229.7 horsepower so just slightly below um you know 30 30 horsepower um and uh at the wheels so you have to apply you know a 17 percent increase for that um at least um and then you also have to apply a um uh you know an increase to the torque number so what as well the torque went from 188.2 pound foot of torque to 203 pound foot of torque so basically 14 pound foot of torque more uh for the horsepower uh, for, the, for the torque and basically 30 horsepower more uh as a result of this tune so let me kind of do a quick calculation as to what that means right so if we apply a, you know a 30 horsepower increase and multiply that by 1.17 applying a 17 percent increase you're looking at you know 35 uh horsepower more uh that the, the car now produces so if the car you know had 234 horsepower before you apply you know 35 horsepower to that so you're 269 um horsepower as well now if you apply an additional 20% increase for that to account for a conservative dyno machine. I mean, it's, you know, producing well over 300 horsepower. So I don't, I don't know if that's, you know, if that's the case, but I say conservatively, conservatively looking at the mod that we've just done. Okay. Resulted in a 30 wheel horsepower increase times 1.17. So a 35 horsepower gain. We're making 269 horsepower, 14 horsepower more than what the stock 2006 330i was producing so conservatively this car now produced 269 horsepower and then the same thing with the torque if we apply the 1.17 you're at 237.51 pound foot of torque and that's a significant increase you know from the stock numbers that were you know um they're, they're advertised as at, at, at being a 200 pound foot of torque uh from the factory but if we apply the um you know what what the initial dyno test was revealed that, that that's 220 so i think we ended up getting 14 uh, extra pound foot of torque and just as i suspected um the car you know like when, when you compare these charts right here i don't know if you can see that when you compare these charts up here um the power feels about the same um at, at, at low end so you know up up until 4,000 rpm i mean the car's still a little bit faster with the mods but where you really start to see the increase in the horsepower and the torque is once you get past 4,000 RPM. So it's at that higher RPM range where this car feels significantly faster. So again, super happy with these results. Now we've got objective data. If you're thinking about doing this mod, we're showing that the mod will result in material increases in horsepower uh, and torque. The car is gonna feel faster and uh, that it feels faster from, you know, when you drive the car, but it also feels uh you know faster when you look at the objective data so appreciate your guys watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel leave a comment below and stay tuned for more videos thanks guys